we've got about connection again. You mentioned the word religion, and that's really interesting because what I've realized, the petition that I started when I was national president to add content on death, dying, and bereavement to the national curriculum, so we gained over 10,000 signatures. Um, the support we gained, what I got was fascinating. It was wonderful. You know, celebrities getting involved, BBC, ITV, you know, it, re- it really, people got behind it, which is incredible. And I've been reflecting on it, thinking like, why is there such a need for this? Um, and why hasn't there been before? Like Victorian era, we say we had a better connection with death in the Victorian era. And they apparently, First and Second World War, created this disconnect in society with death because the death, deaths was such, was such a colossal time and a horrendous time for people. So it was kind of like, we can't deal with this anymore. We've got to just put that over there. So that's when the de- detachment started. But I do think religion, without going too deep and heavy here, Reese, has a part to play in also disconnect within society. Because if you think about the purpose of a church, Reese, the church is a place of community. So even if the kids aren't that religious, because most kids aren't that religious, like young kids, but they would go there and they would see so-and-so neighbours, they'd see the so-and-so from the village or the town and would arrange the bingo night for a few weeks' time. And actually what that was, it was a, a, a platform and a foundation to be together. Um, and whilst you're there, you're being taught to about death, actually. Death is being brought in your hymns, you're singing, it mentions life after death, about going to heaven and whatever your religion might be. The point is, on about community and connection, over half of the UK population now are now non-religious. So the facts are in front of us. This isn't just what I think. The facts are there to see. We are, we are now moving now into a new society. And actually, that's why I think this petition that I started in October 2022 is so important, because it's about how we adapt and evolve to what society actually is. There's no point fighting it. People that over half the UK population won't start going back to church. It's not happening. You can, mm. People who are religious can fight it all they want. You might still go to church for the christening. And actually, I was about to say, actually, that under the half, they might class themselves as religious because they're going for the christening and going to the funeral in church. And actually, mom and dad got married at the church. I want to get married there as well. So what, how do you define religion is, a, is an interesting question. But it all comes back to community and connection. And that, that used to be a source and a foundation to provide our communities with connection. And sadly, it's going. And I think it's important, as I say sadly, we just need to know how to create connection. That's what's really important in society. You're absolutely spot on there. You know, uh, I, I actually, I had a conversation um, with somebody on this podcast and it was with a guy called Richard Vopes. You might have heard him or seen him on YouTube. Uh, really interesting, the fascinating guy. And, um, you know, we spoke about the, the differences now in, in his generation and the millennials and the Gen Z that are coming through and just how different they are in terms of, you know, his generation, Richard Bogues, he's in his 60s now. So they went through, you know, what, what I call, I call them the last real humans. Um, and everybody else coming through now is sort of this artificial type of human being where we lack togetherness. We lack the idea of community. Everyone's very selfish and individualistic um, and very cut off from what it means to be human. Be, to be human. Um, yeah. And that was a real fascinating, fascinating conversation. And it's just, it's just interesting you say that, that, you know, religion and go into a place where everybody comes together and they talk and they, you know, it's celebration. It's even just, even just banal conversation. It just makes you know and uh, and feel as there's, there's people there. You know, we're all in this together. We're not. We're not just individuals. Yep, totally, totally agree. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so what do you what do you reckon then, John? Is um, is is so you mentioned that you're going into schools then, which just sounds very exciting. And you're trying to get, or you're trying to get into schools. Is that is that correct? Or are you trying to set some kind of education platform up there? So my talks now all over the UK, I'm clearly stating that some schools in the UK are doing what I'm suggesting, what the petition was set out to do. But what I'm trying to, to happen, what I'm trying to see happen is a mandatory session to tie into 
the latter end of primary school, the beginning of secondary school, to tie in with sex education. And what I say is we learn about how life begins in school, so let's learn how it ends. Um, and that will be to discuss the emotions we go through when we lose someone we love. Again, in an age-appropriate way, which is really, really important. Kids will, and like some people, I've met a couple of people, you know, who said to me, I'll just let kids be kids, John. And my view is, of course, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a father of three kids. I've got two boys and a girl from six years of age, four and, and six months old. Do you not think I want to protect my children? What I see, though, with overprotection, we can cause damage. That's the, that's the, the facts yeah. of, of what I'm saying. And, I, and again, I see it now. The reason why I know it's correct is I've got 70-year-olds, 60-year-olds, 50-year-olds, 80-year-olds getting in touch with me saying, John, thank you for what you're doing, John, because I was not allowed to go to my grandmother's funeral 50, 60 years ago because they were trying to protect me. I, wasn't even, I didn't even know that my dad died. I'm getting, these, I'm getting emails from all over the world. Um, so thank you for doing this. People in America, they want to see it over there now as well. So it's not, and it's really important as well, Reese. that I'm not saying that all children should go to a funeral service or be involved. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that we should communicate the message. 